Like any trip overseas, getting there can be half the fun, until the plane breaks. That was the situation facing the small party departing from Toronto to go to Lisbon on Sunday night. Ninety minutes out from Toronto, the plane was forced to return, ultimately causing a nearly 24-hour travel day for a trip that should have been 12 at the most. In the end, players Dan Gordon and Aaron Carpenter, along with the medical staff, got there just in time to get a few hours sleep and hit the first training session of the tour. One of the big news items out of the first day was when coach Karen Crowley announced that Morgan Williams would be shedding his coaching title to come back on the pitch to fill the void at scrum half. Williams, who was in the Bahamas helping Canada qualify for the Sevens World Cup this past weekend, was the obvious choice to replace Phil Mack, who fractured his jaw just prior to the Bahamas event. According to Crowley, the decision was an easy one. Oh, not really. I mean, you know, to me, he's the, um, one of the better halfbacks that there are. I mean, when you look at last year's World Cup, there was uh, Ed Fairhurst who will join us for the Ireland, England, uh, Ireland, Wales, and Scotland legs of the of the tour. Uh, the third halfback at that stage was Matt Weingart, who's not playing anymore. Um, unfortunately for um, for Phil Mack, he's broken his jaw, so now he's out. You know, we have Sean White here, who's a young guy coming through and who's certainly shown a lot of potential. You know, when I looked at it, you know, as uh, or well, when we looked at it. Um, you know, we're playing against Ireland, Wales and Scotland after the Portugal game. You know, they're all in the top seven or eight in the world and, and you know, you've got to have experience and you've got to have guys that are, that are um, ready for that level both physically um, as well as mentally and, and, you know, Morgan certainly fits that build. He's been playing all the way through with his club, James Bay. He's He's been doing all the training. He's um, played the sevens last week. So certainly, you know, in the end it was, it was quite an easy choice and when I talked to him, Talk to him about it. Uh, you know he's very keen and looking forward to it, and certainly wants to contribute. Crowley's also integrating some new faces into the squad: Andrew Fagan and Frank Walsh, though not quite rookies. These two Newfoundlanders, along with Dan Gordon and Travis Robertson, are all learning the schemes introduced by a Crowley-coached side. For all of them, I mean, I think they're all up. There's, I think, there's ten guys that haven't actually played a Test match here, so. So it's a uh, it's a different experience for all of those guys. So you know they, they've got to pick up the systems. Um, you know there'll be some. It's a different group of guys. So there'll be, you know, most of the, or a lot of the systems will be the same. But there'll be the odd, odd things that change. And you know today's all about recovery from the trip. Some of the guys had you know pretty uh, horrendous trip to get here. And I think you didn't get in until about two o'clock this morning or something. So. So um, you know some of the guys are a little bit uh, tired. So today's all about. Um, Putting a few um, formations, I suppose, out on the paddock, but mainly about a recovery and recovery day. And tomorrow we can have a bigger day, and then uh, Thursday hopefully put it all together. And, and come Saturday, those guys have, have um, you know, know know the systems. Canada plays Portugal this Saturday, 5 p.m. kickoff local time in Lisbon. Duck Cross reporting.